one, our minds as one, as we come before our almighty God, the light, the creator, the one who is love, to close out our services with prayer. Our God, we thank you today for the moment that has been given to us to reflect, to remember, and to once again instill in our hearts that we will never forget, that we will always hold dear in the holy, sanctified moments of our memory, the names that have come before us today, who put the greatest sacrifice anyone can put out into the world, into the atmosphere, and that is their lives. Their family members are here today, oh God, to witness our honor of them, which we hope has given to their sacrifice some gravitas. We pray for those family members today, oh God, that they will be strengthened with courage, that in those moments of weakness when tears come both from the eye and heart, that you will lift them and strengthen them and let them know that their loved ones' lives were not given in vain. We thank you for the men and women who stand in uniform for us in all departments of our city and beyond, who know the record of those who have gone on before them and who are now ready with the same bravery and courage to embrace whatever may come to protect the citizenry. We thank you for them today, O oh God, and we pray blessings upon their family. Now, God, as we remember the rubble, we remember the smoke, we remember the dust, we remember the fire, we remember the enemy, let us peer through it all and see our national purpose that you have endowed and bestowed upon us before there was a before and when there was nowhere to be. We are America, and God, you have given us this opportunity to show the world what democracy looks like. We will be determined, and we shall overcome. We thank you for the moment. We thank you for the opportunity to remember. Now, Father, hold our hands as we go off into the future that you have granted to us. It is in the great name of him who has loved us, and has guided us and keeps us. Let everyone say amen. Amen. amen.